all, but for some reason, I don't know any of these people, but if mm -hmm. I, there's a social pressure or social anxiety, you know, with the whole mass of people, and if something happens, it goes down, you know, it really shouldn't matter, right? But yeah. for some reason, uh, I think I care too much sometimes. Well, what other people think about you is none of your business, for one. And a great affirmation for that is, I don't give a fuck what other people think about me. This is my life. I'm going to live it the way I want. I'm going to do what I want, say what I want, when I want. If you doubt me, if you don't like me, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. And it doesn't matter the situation. If you're thinking, if those thoughts are popping up in your mind when you go out, you need to run that through your mind. What the fuck do I care? And you really got to feel it. Like, I don't give a fuck. You know, pump yourself up, get excited about it when you're saying it. Okay. I don't think I really have like a free related mindset, mm -hmm. but um, just sometimes I'm comfortable with my body language. Okay. So that you know when I'm walking, maybe on a shopping mall. So you're self-conscious about the way you're walking and stuff sometimes. Yeah, because I know it doesn't feel right. That's okay. Why, physically. Okay. Otherwise, if I'm just talking to people, I feel very comfortable. Okay. Um, probably like the, um, my biggest fear will be the same thing, you know, like thinking too much about what other people like think about me or... Yeah. Okay. So what are you going to do about that? Um, I just thought like, I don't give a fuck what other people say about me. Mm -hmm. so. Well, you know, when I was a kid, I, I always was fighting for my rights as an individual. You know, this was way back when I was 12, 13 years old. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. I wanted to be the person I wanted to be. I didn't want other people telling me that I should go to college to do this when I don't want to do that. I don't feel, I didn't feel that it was necessary that people could tell me how to dress when I didn't want to dress that way. I didn't give a fuck what my parents thought. I didn't give a fuck what my teachers thought. Now, by saying that, I got kicked out of school a lot. <laughs> I got into a hell of a lot of trouble, you know? But um, I fought and fought for years for me. So I could be me and do and say what I want to do and say. You know, if you think about it, who are you living for? What really matters? You. Who the fuck cares what everybody else wants for you? Who cares what your parents want for you? Who cares what your boss says? This is your life. This is your time. Who the fuck cares? Fight for your right to be you. Stand up for yourself. You're your own person. You can make your own decisions. You have that choice every day when you enter into a place of comfort and you're there for so long anything different any other type of change is gonna kind of shock you and your mind is gonna kind of bring you back to the comfort zone to back to the way you were and that's why it's so critical to stay consistent with the affirmations in the magnetic mindset program on a daily basis because if you're not then you're going to take a step forward, but you're going to keep falling backwards, keep falling backwards. Um, the mind is a powerful thing. I had one guy, he was, um, he was doing his affirmations for a long time, and he wanted to try just going two weeks without doing them. So he stopped. And he stopped, and he was doing it, and, and he, he was having a lot of success when he was doing them. He was meeting a lot of women, just exactly how I say it happens. And he stopped for two weeks. And it was really weird because literally people from his past that he hasn't seen for like 10 years started popping up everywhere in his life over that course of that two weeks. All the people that he used to hang out with, all those negative influences, literally just here's this guy that he hasn't seen in 10 years by the train, just standing right next to him at the train station really fucking weird like creepy shit like <laughs> that's not normal but uh, but that's really how powerful this shit is 
you know, if you really let your mind go back to the old way, it's going to bring it back to your own old reality. So you should just stay as present as possible. When I'm terrified or whatever in that feeling, I should just stay out of my friggin' head. <clears throat> the best thing is just to keep the affirmations running through your head, the, what you want. The, keep affirming what you want. And then when you go out, I don't recommend, you know, do the to use the tools in the Magnetic Mindset program as that, tools, okay? Do your homework. But when you go out, just say, I can't wait to see what kind of fun, crazy shit's going to happen to me tonight. And just put that intention out there and let go of any need any worries, any doubts, any thoughts of, well, all right, well, I'm going to go to this club and I need to position myself here and I need to go over here. You need to let that go when you go out and be present. And when you're present and you're 100% in the moment, that's when you can really naturally attract what it is that you're affirming earlier in the day to you because that's when your subconscious is working. Your subconscious is working when you're present. And it's working whether you're affirming positive stuff or you're not affirming anything. If you're not affirming anything, it's going to be running on by default. If it's running on default, you're going to attract the same shit that you have in your past to you. So why not affirm what you really want in your life and then just let it go and release it and then just let it happen? But that requires trust. That requires faith. You need to believe in this process. You need to believe in yourself because if you don't, it's not going to work. No matter how good you are. Okay. Uh, I'd say for me, it's similar to what he said, but it's more not just strangers and feel the need to impress them, but people who are already in my life mm -hmm. um, who are important to me. I guess it's like fear of maybe disappointing them or something by. I tend to overthink things a lot. Like I'm always, like I always have, and in some ways it's good for certain things, but in situations like relationships, they're pretty dynamic, so you can't watch no. me think it out. So I yeah. start, I'll say one thing, I'll have one interaction, and I'll be like, oh, what did that mean? Like, did they, how did they take what I said? And then I'll start thinking about it way too much, and it never turns out as bad or you know, detrimental like I think it would, but I, I guess I'm mm -hmm. fearful of um, losing like the things that I have in my life that I'm already even happy with. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing. I mean, every fear that was just stated by everyone in here, if you would just do it, you would realize it's not that big of a deal. If you would just jump out of a plane, if you would just stop giving a fuck what other people think, that other people are in their own worlds. They're not fucking over there thinking about you or doing anything. You know, they've got their own shit to worry about. If you're present and just having a good time, then you know that those around you are going to be having a good time. If you're in your head thinking, trying to impress them, if I, because I can pick that up. Like, I, I personally can pick that up yeah. really easily. And if, you, if I'm hanging out with somebody and it, it's somebody that's trying to do things to impress me, it pisses me off. I'm like, dude, just fucking be real with me. Right. Stop trying to impress me. Stop trying to be something you're not. Just be real. Be yourself. Yeah, and it's not even that. Like, I don't think I kiss ass or I'm trying too hard. It's more that I I just don't want, I don't know, I guess I'm uh, concerned that something I'll do or say could, like, hurt a relationship. That's mm -hmm. important to me. Because mm -hmm. I actually talk, to, like, too much and I'll say whatever's on my mind. Like, my friends think I'm, like, the craziest person they know. Because mm -hmm. I'll just say the most ridiculous shit, like, in situations where... They would think that, why would you ever say that? Mm -hmm. I mean, always, everyone has a good time, and it's fun, but worry that sometime, I mean, it's kind of the way you are, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if that's ever been a concern to you as far as you just kind of speak your mind, but it hurts somebody, even though in your world, you know, it's fine, and you're just kind of being open and genuine. I've heard a lot of people by doing that, actually, right. yeah. yeah. Um, but it just, if it's one of those know. things that if you're going to hang out with me, you're going to deal with the way I am accept me for who I am and if you can't accept me bullshitting and I might say something to offend you but 
you know it's not like I'm intentionally trying to hurt you. And if you take it that way, then you probably shouldn't be hanging out with me. <laughs> you <Yeah>. know? <laughs>